out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we back. Good fella Sports TV with some hot rumor news real quick. We're just going to call it a rumor. And um, I'll link the tweet in the description. It's going around on Twitter that uh, Sergey Kovalev and Anthony Yard is off. It's been canceled. It's gone. It was said to be June 29th. It was a fight that a lot of people were looking forward to. Um, it was a colossal step up in competition for Anthony Yard. And most people would think that Anthony Yard would be the one that pull out. Right? No pun intended, right? But that's not the fact. But we back once again. Goodfellas Sports TV. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. If you want to make a donation to the channel, link's there as well too. But best way you can help your boy out is just share, share the video. And it was Sergey Kovalev. And um, I want to just reference Bob Aram. Bob Aram said the reason that Amir Khan and Manny Pacquiao never happened when the, these so-called investors had all the money for it to go down and uh, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, wherever in the Middle East, is because those those investors never showed the financial means. They never drew up, drew up the financial plans. So Bob Aram never trusted him. Bob Aram is cheap as hell. And um, he said he wasn't fronting the bill. And this is exactly what happened. Apparently, uh, Anthony Yard was getting overcompensated for the fight. It was uh, over $4 million to fight Kovalev. Now, if he getting $4 million, then, you know, Kovalev got to be getting 6 $7 million. So apparently... For my guesstimation, this is no inside knowledge, but we do know this is knowledge right here, is that the uh, organizers, you know, pulled out. So whoever was the Russian billionaire that was supposed to be, you know, financially back in this fight, they probably never showed proof of funds. Like Tanjay Ajayi said, Anthony Yar's coach, he said that, you know, it's up to the organizers and the promoters to, to announce the fight. And we was coming, we were just approaching, the fight is only a month out. If that was supposed to be June 29th, and all of a sudden now Kovalev uh, side pulled out the fight. Now, my whole thing about it was this, man. All of a sudden, Kovalev had a large investor, okay, to, to back him for a fight. Where was this shit at for Andre Ward? Where was this shit at for Bernard Hopkins? Where was this shit at when he needed the most? All right? After all he'd been through, getting beat up, getting beat up again, getting beat up again, winning, and all of a sudden, after he, after he got a resurgence at, what, 35, 36 years old, now somebody in Russia is, is interested in putting a fight on in Russia, it just sounds fishy to me all of a sudden. Because if that's the case, shit, why ain't no, nobody from wherever Lomachenko and Yusik from that put money into them? You know? Why? That's my whole thing about it. You got to look at stuff with clarity. Because Kovalev ain't even the most, you know, he ain't even the most popular Russian. Now, had it been Rubisky, I would have been more confident in it. Okay, Rubisky, he put the money up. But I think Rubisky is just really close with Alexander Povetkin. I don't think he really cares about Kovalev, and I don't really know if that to be true or not true. But apparently, they ain't got the money. So, you know, Bob Aaron won front of the sack. Frank Warren won front of the bag. Nobody was front of the money but this quote-unquote Russian financial uh, backer. And I don't know exactly who was the the financial backer here, but they didn't produce the funds. And at the end of the day, the shit was going slow. It wasn't no poster for a fight. It wasn't no venue for a fight. And the fight was four weeks away. Now, Al Heyman can get away with shit like that because Al Heyman got a reputation for coming through, right? PBC, if you used to fight at the Barclays Center and they announced it a month out, people are going to be there because they know the ticket's going to be good. They know the production going to be good. And the Barclays, Bar Barclays Center is now trying to become like the East Coast hub, like the Atlantic City and Master Square Garden was. So for Anthony Yard, now this fucks up things. Now, Kovalev could have easily came over to the UK, uh, obviously for less money. I heard it was a low ball offering for Anthony Yard. But for what I understand, Anthony Yard ain't even that big of a pool in the UK. Nobody really liked him because he taking hella baby steps. So from that perspective, you know... Where is this fight going to be? I feel that it should have been on neutral grounds in America. But all of a sudden, Anthony Yard wasn't going to take the fight unless it was A, or A, it was in, you know, the UK, or B, it was a ton of money. And it seemed like Kovalev and them just said, we got a ton of money, 
to get yard. And I said, four point, I think it was $4.2 million they was giving yard. I said, damn, that's a lot of money to get yard. I guess they really wanted to fight yard that bad, right? Because yard was prepared to pull out the fight, according to his coach, Tajay Ajaye. When they said $4 million, yard was like, shit, where do I sign? Tanjay and Jaya, his coach, was talking that we the A-side shit. We the A-side. They do what we say, dude. He got the brand deal with Adidas. You know, Kovalev don't sell nothing out, out, out in the United States. And all of a sudden, they produce $4 million. And they must have had some type of contract or proof of funds drawn up. And now, all of a sudden, the money ain't there. And it, it's hard, it was hard for me to believe that Kovalev had that type of financial backing. Okay? It was hard for me to believe that Kovalev... Had that type of financial backing. Same Kovalev that, that got fucked versus Andre Ward out of the bag. Same Kovalev that didn't put no seats in the Frisco star. Same Kovalev that didn't sell out with Bernard Hopkins. The same Kovalev where I never heard that somebody from Russia where was even interested in having Kovalev fight over there. They were more interested in having Marat Gasvier fight Yusuk over there than any other Kovalev fight. I didn't even know Kovalev was a star. He spent so much time in the United States. And then again, Kovalev does have the pending case versus the Instagram star. He allegedly punched her in her face and slipped and, and slipped a disc in her neck. Which, for some reason, I don't believe the story the way it goes. Because she wouldn't give up the cooter catter. Alright, she wouldn't give up the meow. You know what I'm saying? But, maybe that plays a role in it. You know, but I don't think so. I, I don't think that Kovalev and his team never had the money. Because had they had that money, Kathy Duval would have tapped into that money line. That's all I'm saying. Kathy Duval, Duva, his promoter for main events, would have tapped into that money line. Kovalev would have tapped into that money line. They would have been utilized the billionaire status. Okay, had this been for Undisputed, or had Anthony Yard been on the level of, of Deontay Wilder, Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, Rory Jones, and shit, Earl Spencer, Terrence Crawford. Had he been on that level and it was a big fight, I believe they would have. They would have. They probably would have been like, okay, yeah, we can produce those funds for him. But Anthony Yard is a virtually unknown. It was no way they was gonna get their return. Probably in Russia on paying Anthony Yard four million, they probably would have had to pay Kovalev six million. So ten million dollars. It was no way they was gonna get that return. Nobody know who the fuck Anthony Yard is. He's virtually done nothing. People, some people in the UK, for what I understand, don't know who Anthony Yard is. You feel me? So it just made no sense to pay Anthony Yard. That's like 20 times above market value for an unknown commodity. It ain't like you weren't going to make that money back on TV. Maybe in Russia they could have made the money back on TV deal. But does Russia really know and love Kovalev like that? If they did, he'd have been had a major fight in Russia. Yes, he went back and fought, fought in Russia many years ago. So just connecting the dots, it's just smell fishy. It's smell fishy that Kovalev all of a sudden got... A billion dollar back and coming out the fucking woodworks like Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was just thinking, like, man, what the fuck this was that when he was getting ganked by Andre Ward? When he's fighting Nathan Cleverly and fighting Bernard Hopkins and shit for short money. Because if they got four million to pay uh, Anthony Yard, this nigga had to be getting six million. You know, so at the end of the day, man, I said it didn't smell right. And this is why you don't trust investors. Same thing with Pacquiao. And Lucas Matisse, it was a point in time where the investors didn't produce the funds. And Pacquiao and, and Michael Consum had to run down, you know, those investors. And Bob Aram said, I wasn't helping. I'm only tr distributing a TV deal to ESPN+. Plus. And Pacquiao figured it out. But after that shit, Pacquiao was like, oh, man, I ain't no business. I mean, me no businessman. Me need Al Heyman. He tried to stay with Bob. He tried to fight Lomachenko. Lomachenko hold out. I've been telling y'all, these niggas don't want all the smoke. But, hey, it is what it is. Move on. You know, that was a good fight. Supposed to be June 29th. For 29th, you had Charlo versus Adams. Trash. Lucky versus Andre. That's all right. And then you had Kovalev and, and Yard. That was probably going to go on earlier in the day. That was the fight I was looking forward to the whole day. The rest of them fights really didn't matter to me. But that's how boxing go. We don't never lose the pathetic fights. We don't never lose the sorry fights. We don't never lose the fights we don't nobody really give a shit about. But we always lose the good fights pathetic man but hey it's a good fellow sports tv appreciate everybody for checking in make sure you hit that subscribe button bell icon button won't miss another video don't forget to check out our sponsor the hillblaze at the hillblaze.com promo code goodfellow one boxing get you 18 percent off the 100 percent all natural products soaps lotions foot soaks bath bombs deodorant toothpaste hair pomade 
candles, 100% all natural products, and many, many more. Website, promo code Goodfellow Unboxing are in the description. That gets you 18% off. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email as well. All the information is in the description if you need to get in touch with your boy. If you want to make a donation, that link's there as well too. Check out the Patreon. God will not be updating really, really soon. Blessings to the brothers and sisters out there. Share, share the videos. We gone.